See, this is why we can't have nice things. Grace and peace, you guys. April Chapman here with the Standard of Truth podcast. And since this is the Standard of Truth, I'm not holding no punches and I'm going to say what needs to be said. First of all, this is why we can't have nice things. And this is why I don't nobody want to do business with miscreants. Why? Because we can't have nice things because some of y'all, yes, some of y'all don't know how to act. As I'm sure you have heard by now that Walmart has closed several stores in and around the Chicago area. And please believe, as a small business owner myself, y'all think that you, you think this is bad? This is just the beginning. Listen, what people need to understand is that businesses put businesses in areas where they will be profitable. We're not running nonprofits and we're not going to put nice things in your community just because you think you deserve it or want it. I hear the same thing in my community right here outside of Atlanta. If you just go on the next door app, all you see all day long is black folks complaining. Why they won't put a sprout over here? Well, we need a Trader Joe's. Well, why, why did the Walmart close? Or I wish they put some nice restaurants over here. No. It's not going to happen. They're not going to put nice things in an area with a bunch of y'all. You and your cousin in them, you don't know how to appreciate nice things. If an area is riddled with crime, riddled with theft, and a, a corporation, if they're smart and they actually want to be profitable, they're not going to put a business in your community. I will never forget. One day I was on the Nextdoor app and I could not believe the amount of people who looked like me, who had the nerve to defend foolishness and say, well, you know, crime is crime is up everywhere. And so I'm offended that you say, you know, that just crime is in our neighborhood and it's black on black crime. Listen, if we can't have a conversation and be honest about the fact that some of y'all, your cousin and them don't know how to act and are making it bad for everybody else. This is why corporations are closing up and leaving our communities in droves. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why corporations are closing up in droves and are making a mass exodus away from y'all and they are putting their businesses in communities that actually appreciate the niceness. The people who actually don't go in with a level of entitlement who say, you know what? I think today would be a good day for me to just walk in and steal like nine flat screen TVs in broad daylight. Like it's no big deal. Why well, I deserve, right? They got insurance. I heard people actually during the pandemic, during the riots, advocate and say dumb stuff like, well, you know, they have insurance for stuff like that. So, you know, it's obvious those people are stealing because they need it. What is wrong with you people? Do not tell me that we do not have a moral problem within urban context. And you know, urban is code for you and your cousin in there. Yes, I am a person of color. Actually, you know what? I hate that term. I am a black American woman, but I do not want to be lumped in and associated with the bottom of the barrel, the ones of us that have no sense, no class, no morals, and no sort of self-respect about themselves, and they have no respect for their common man or their community. So no. Corporations don't owe you. They owe you nothing. They're not going to put a store in your community when they already know that's increased money for security. They got to put in increased security measures in place. I went to, y'all, I went to Walgreens to get, what was it that I tried to get? I needed to get something from, Wal I remember. Out, y'all. I went to Walgreens and I needed some toothpaste. And I like fluoride-free toothpaste. And typically, if you go to a place like Walgreens or CVS, they only have Tom's of Maine as, for the most part, the only brand that'll be without fluoride. 
Do you know I had to wait for a manager to escort me to that toothpaste to unlock that toothpaste so that I could access it to purchase it? Now, all the toothpaste wasn't locked, you know, like the AIM and the little cheap, the cheaper brand Crest wasn't on lock. But the Toms of Maine was actually behind a gate that was locked, padlocked. What the heck? Like toothpaste ain't even safe no more because some of y'all don't know how to act. I watched um, another YouTuber who did a video on this and... The reason why I'm not going to apologize for saying what needs to be said, because I have truth on my side. If I, I come from a distinctively biblical worldview, so I can actually speak to the culture and say, this is what's wrong. You guys need repentance. You need a savior. Your hearts are wicked and darkened. And this is why you fulfill the lust of your flesh. And you think because you see it, that you should have it. We have a morality problem in the black community. And it grieves me so much because those within the black community, the visible ones, the black pastors, they don't talk about this stuff. They want your tithes and offerings. They want you to come and give your money to their churches, but they're not going to say anything to offend you. They're not going to tell all the single mamas with five baby daddies that is your offspring that is wrecking havoc on our cities, right? They're not going to say that. They're not going to tell you that. They're not going to talk to the parents to say, listen, you need to be able to restrain wickedness beginning in your own home. But if you can't restrain the wickedness in your own home, what makes you think that wickedness is going to be restrained in the school system? What makes you think that that wickedness is not going to be unleashed out to the grand public at large because you can't control your own offspring? A lack of moral standards fatherlessness, so much rampant sexual immorality that's leading to all the babies out of wedlock, all of that in one form, shape, or another is contributing to what we're seeing in our community. So no, I don't feel bad that Walmart closed up and it's going to suck. You know why this is going to suck? Because everybody that lives in the hood is not contributing to the poor quality of life in these communities. There are some good people who are like, listen, I live here because this is all that I could afford. But now they have to figure out where they're going to get goods and services that Walmart would normally sell because Walmart is like, I'm sorry, we can't do this anymore. We're out. So now this ruins it for the small segment of the community. You have to pay the price because your cousin and them don't know how to act. So at what point, at what point are we going to have a conversation about what is going on in our communities? And when are we going to stand up and tell the miscreants that you don't represent us? Okay. Either you ship up or you shape out. But this is why our inner cities are such trash. You got liberal inner city mayors that are light on crime. You have these sorrows backed district attorneys that will let violent felony crimes go and be chasing behind a stupid misdemeanor or chasing behind a former president because he gave some thought over there or some money. And I'm not minimizing that. But what I'm saying is, do you see on the level of priorities what these district attorneys really care about? They don't care about violent crime and keeping you safe. They have political agendas that are fueling their foolishness. So let me know. Let me know what, what do you think about this? Do you think Walmart is wrong for moving their corporations out of these communities and jumping ship? I mean, they're not profitable. They're not in business or they're not running a nonprofit. Do you think they are wrong? Or you're like, you know what, April, they absolutely did the right thing. Somebody has to suffer. And unfortunately, it's going to have to be communities of cover, color that are ridden with crime and illegal activity. We, 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 we got to get a, this moral problem. Christ is the answer. But we don't have a large enough remnant of Christ followers who are willing to speak up and speak directly to their communities and tell them that that's the problem. That, that is the problem.
We got to deal with this cowardice and we're just going to have to speak up regardless of the backlash. I ain't afraid to say it. This is why we can't have nice things because of y'all. Y'all let me know what you think. Grace and peace.